Yeah. You know, a few weeks back, Kendrick dropped some shit. You know what I mean? He, he meant that. He, he dropped it on the Future and uh, Metro album. Um, very control verse esque as far as, you know, just kind of setting himself apart from his peers. And we appreciate that. Kendrick's very good at um, keeping it competitive. You know what I mean? Keeping the spirit of hip hop alive. So, um, you know, he threw some shots at Cole, threw some shots at Drake. Here's what it is. Song happened to be number one on the charts the last two weeks. No problem. J. Cole responds with a whole fucking album, right? Dropped hmm. it on dropped dropped it on Friday the fifth. Now, did you hear the album? Yes. I know you heard the I know you heard the fucking album. Just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just asking him to keep to keep this going as far as bats are concerned, right? Because he, he's just like, yo, because you asked me, like, did you hear on Nine Get Hair yet? You know? So Saturday night, heard it like three times overnight. Liked it. Sunday night, heard another three times. Liked it. I was like, all right, your boy got some joints on here. Like Seven minute drill. I wish it was really seven minutes, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, pretty well rounded album, right? Wake up on Monday. Now, for those that live in the Fayetteville, North Carolina area, every year Mr. J. Cole dro- dro- throws something called the Dreamville Festival, where he pretty much hosts a very large, uh, I don't want to say Woodstock kind of atmosphere, but very made in America kind of situation where he invites all his friends, and throw, a, and throw a big, uh, fucking concert everyone loves it great so this year you know it's fresh off the i might delete later yeah you know i mean everybody just feels like the energy you know what i mean this is the, this is where we're going and i was like this is where things went south <laughs> <laughs> like he's out there he's, he's doing his thing as he always does and then he starts to apologize because he felt he, he, he apologizes to Kendrick personally due to the diss track that he dropped called Seven Minute Drill at the end of the album. And I don't want to call it a full diss track. He just kind of, you know, made a couple couple light jabs and pokes at his uh, his, his uh, music catalog, his amount of time he takes to drop, uh, his uh, infrequency. And, and listen, when I heard it, I was like, I'm looking a little funny to like compared to your own discography, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just got, 